everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Melanie and I predominantly do food hauls. So at the moment, the country is in lockdown. We've been in lockdown for three weeks and a couple of days and food is hard to get or people are not going out. And there's certain shops that are doing food boxes. I've had the Morrison's one, which I'm actually over a week later still using bits from. I've obviously not used it. At the beginning, I used it continuously as my food source. But as the week's gone on, I'm using it less and less, but there's still stuff a week and two days later that I'm using. Um, I got the meat version, but they do a vegetable version, a vegetarian version and a meat version. And do you know what? I would buy that again. I'd happily buy it. And I was aware at, at the same day that I bought that, that they was doing an M&S box. So I've got the M&S box today. It's, I ordered it about seven o'clock on Thursday evening and it arrived 10 o'clock on Saturday morning. It was £35 plus three ninety nine delivery, but I did also buy something else at the same time, which is coming separately, but it's part of the delivery price. Um, you get to see exactly what you're getting in the box on the M&S site, and it does say there might be substitutions, which there have been, and I'm not over the moon with the substitutions. This box can compare to the, M and, um, the Morrison's box. You're not going to be able to live comfortably off. You're going to have to add, to add things to it. This is kind of a top-up box, things that you may necessarily never buy, but you're going to get to try. So that's how I'm looking at it with a lot of the things that I hear. I wouldn't go out and buy them if I went to M&S, which I, I do shop in M&S because there's actually something on my cooker to prove that I go in M&S. Um, I used that yesterday when I made chicken fried rice, homemade. So I'm going to show you what you get and I'm going to tell you what substitutions I got. So the first thing is the aloe vera toilet tissue. It does tell you you get a four pack of toilet tissue. Doesn't tell you what type. So I'm happy with that. It feels really heavy. It's very weighty. And based on buying toilet roll from M&S before, I know that toilet roll is about three pounds. I got just a plain basic one from them that had silver stars on and that was three pound. And this feels a lot nicer. So I'm guessing that's around three pound. There's an easy cook long grain rice. It did say there was a long grain rice. It wasn't meant to be easy cook. So I'm presuming it just cooks quicker and there's a full kilogram. So that's going to last a long time. Now, the rice I actually used yesterday was the M&S brown. I think it was brassmati rice. So I do already use M&S rice and it's good. And it's not actually expensive, but I'm guessing this was about £2.50 to £3 based on the size. Then there's a pack of large roasted and salted peanuts, which I would never have got. I was craving salted nuts last night, but I'm not a fan of peanuts, so they're not for me. So the one substitution that, that I'm the most disappointed about is there's two pack kits of the Scottish Old Butter Short Bread Fingers. There was meant to be a short bread biscuit selection. I think it was hand cut, hand cooked, and it looked really nice. And that was the one thing out of everything in this box that I knew was coming that I wanted. And I was like, it's going to be great. I'm going to be able to have tea and biscuits. And I think I've actually had these and I'm not too bothered about these. Whereas the other ones looked absolutely gorgeous. So I think, you know, I just feel a little bit let down with that one. Then there's two blocks of chocolate. There's a milk chocolate and then there's an intense dark chocolate. Now, there was, it was just meant to be normal dark chocolate. Um, and that is an 85% pure dark chocolate, that. Um, when I knew I was getting dark chocolate, I don't like it and I thought I might bake some cookies and I might put more milk and a little bit of dark in and then it could be like a double chocolate cookie. Um, I'm probably going to use even less because of how dark that actually is. Um, but I do like M&S chocolate. I normally get the Swiss chocolate bar. I've not had it in ages though. So there's English breakfast tea bags. I normally have strength too because I've just finished what, a box of M&S tea. Um, I think it was Red Bush and I think it was strength too, but it just means just keeping the tea bag in the water less time. So that's that. So the pasta was meant to be an M&S owned packet of Fuseli pasta. And I was looking forward to it because all I've got in is either whole, whole wheat pasta, the 50-50 where it's half whole wheat and half white plain pasta or free from. Now, I do have normal spaghetti pasta, and it's not a cheap brand that I've got. And I've got um, tagliatelle, and then I've got the one that's 
like twice the thickness of tagua terry but i'm not sure what that's called so i was looking forward to having some plain pasta that was fusually that i knew i was gonna like and then they sent this so if you don't shop in MS normally it's not expensive they do the normal brand they do a cheap brand of their own version and they do some luxury versions of their stuff and then they do other brands and the other brands could be anything from Heinz to Kellogg's to Coke and then they do some expensive brands so this is an expensive brand and it probably wasn't cheap and it probably isn't cheap to buy but I'm just disappointed it's spaghetti pasta because the stuff that I've got to go with it that's in this box is meant to go with normal pasta so that is the real second letdown after the biscuits then there's gigantic buttons and they are big they're literally like that size um never tried them but i've liked every m and chocolate i've had so far so i presume i'm gonna like it percy pig which i do really like and i've had before if you've watched any of my m &S food hauls you would have seen the odd pack pop up every now and then i don't get it that often but i do like percy pig then this was meant to be in there. It's the Italian tomato pasta sauce and it is massive. If I was having this by myself, it'd probably do three or four meals because I don't coat my pasta. I like to dip my pasta because I'm weird. Then there's two tins of soup, a cream of tomato soup and a chunky vegetable soup. These were meant to be in there. I don't like soup 80% of the time, so I normally play it safe and always have a tomato-based one because normally I like it. I would love to like soup. Because if I did, I'd have it every day. But unfortunately, for some reason, I don't. And I loved the look of that until it said leeks. So that means I'm not even going to try it because I don't like leeks. There's chunky corned beef. I've never seen corned beef in a round tin before. I don't like corned beef. Never have done, even as a child, when the only option was a corned beef sandwich. I would just have bread with butter on and not have a filling because I don't like it. And then there was meant to be two tins of chunky steak. And there's not a alternative or a substitution in here so i've actually got one item less than what i was meant to get you would think they would just even if it was a random item that was nothing like it you'd think they would put it in but they haven't this is another substitution it was meant to be vegetable curry and i was actually looking forward to it i was going to add chicken i'll admit and i was looking forward to it because it looked really tasty and i was going to have it probably today and yeah i was going to have chicken but I would never have bought something that's got meat in it. Like, I'm probably going to avoid that, like the plague. Um, I've just actually spotted something that's meant to be in this hole. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to obviously have it. I'm not thrilled that it's got chicken in it, but there you go. If you've watched any of my food hauls from m and I've probably said a million times how much I love m and beans. I prefer them over any other beans and I've got so many different varieties of beans in the cupboard because when this isolation first started, every time anyone went to the shop, well I've not personally been out in a month nearly, but any time anyone ever went to the shop they got beans. So we've got Heinz beans, we did have Sainsbury's beans but we've had them, I think we've got some little beans, we might have some Aldi beans. I don't think we've got any M&S beans so they're mine. This is something I'm going to try. I've not had red salmon in a tin for years, so I don't know how I'm going to react to it, if I'm going to like it. I don't know if you meant to put anything on it, because I used to have tuna with nothing on it until recently, and when I started to put salt and vinegar on, and it's gorgeous, but I don't know if you meant to do that with salmon, or if you don't put anything on it, but you get a tin of red salmon. Then you get a jar of M&S gold. I don't like coffee. I mean, I do like coffee. I meant instant coffee and I've not bought instant coffee in years because I don't like it. Every now and then I would buy a jar and try and make myself like it. But I only like coffee that you get um, coffee pods for, basically. Um, I'll show you some in a minute. Um, and then this was a substitution because this was meant to be a bolognese sauce. And I actually like this one because I've had this before. So I'm happy that that's a substitution. Um, and that's everything that you get in there, and that's £35 plus three ninety nine delivery. They do vegetable boxes, which I couldn't find when I was looking initially, and I found since. And you get a £15 one and an £18 one. The £15 one's better value than the £18 one, believe it or not. And there's a fruit box for £20, so if you wanted to get fruit and veg at the same time, you can. So whilst I'm here, because I'm not going to do a standalone video, 
I have discovered these from Amazon. They do loads of different types. I've got two boxes. Well, it's one one order. You get a hundred for nine pounds something, including well, I've got Amazon Prime. And I read all the reviews and everyone was really happy about the coffee. And because I was buying a hundred, I literally read a lot of the reviews, like if not all of them, to make sure because even though it's ten pounds and it's not a massive amount compared to what it costs to buy ten at three pound fifty. I didn't want to waste ten pounds, and actually they're not bad. I would give them a seven and a half to eight out of ten. Um, but if you love your super expensive coffee, you might not like it. But if you're trying to save a little money, I would recommend getting them. I thought I'd throw that in just in case you do drink coffee. So this is what you get, and when I added it up, guessing the prices, and I can only guess based on what stuff is in the shop. I would say this was between thirty and thirty five pounds. I think more like 35 for that expensive pasta. There is one missing item. I'm not happy with this. I'd rather have had some chocolate biscuits. They do some gorgeous chocolate biscuits. Um, but yeah, that's what you get. I won't get it again. I wait to get it just to get it. And it's been got. So that's it. If you have any questions about any of these items, please leave them in the comment section below. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell notification to get an alert every time I upload, another, every time I upload a video. So at the moment there won't be much videos. I'm staggering out what I've got because I obviously have pre-filmed that. I filmed before lockdown and I've obviously got two videos now involving what you can buy during lockdown. So I may well actually put these up before the rest of the videos just so everyone's aware of what you can get if you're stuck inside and you, you rely on food deliveries. The reason why I got the Morrisons one is because I couldn't get any shopping from Asda even though I'm already a customer. Couldn't get anything from Tesco, even though I'm already a customer. Sainsbury's are not allowing at this point when I was looking last anyway. They weren't allowing new customers. Neither was Waitrose or Ocado. So I think Waitrose is Ocado, I think. Um, so I was kind of desperate and that's why I ended up with the Morrison's box. And that's the one. If you're looking for substance, if you're looking to feed your family, you're looking for it to last and last beyond the week like mine has, then definitely go for the... Morrison's box if you're looking for a bit of you know random things to try out and top up what you're getting already then get this it is you know I think you do get your value worth but it you know it's potluck if you're going to actually get everything that is listed and I know they've tried to get it as near as possible and in some respects they have there is a missing item but you know I'm going to enjoy trying all well a lot of this I'm not going to try some of it but you know, I will get these videos up and it might inspire you, it might help you. You might have just discovered a new coffee to try. They do other ones, but I feel like this, the one that I got, got the best reviews. But thank you for watching.